This is lesson 3.6, Perpendiculars and Distance. Your objectives are to find the distance between a point and a line, and to find the distance between two parallel lines. When a point is not on a line, the distance from the point to the line is the length of the segment that contains the point and is perpendicular to the line. It always has to be perpendicular to the line. So when you draw from the point to the line, make sure you hit it at a right angle. Construct the segment that represents the distance indicated. Number one, from point C to line AB. Well, you can draw straight there on this one. Go from C down to line AB and you hit it at a right angle. Make sure that that's a right angle when you connect. Number two, from point D to line AB. Well, if I try it inside the shape, it won't work because I can't hit that at a right angle. So instead, I'm going to have to extend line AB. Once you extend the line, now draw from point D to the line. And that makes a right angle. That distance is perpendicular to line AB. Number three, from point T to line RS. If I try drawing inside the shape, it doesn't work because I can't get a right angle. So I'm going to have to extend line RS. And now I can draw straight to the line. And that does hit the line at a right angle. Remember, if you can't draw inside the shape, extend the line and draw outside the shape. Another thing to remember is that this distance that's perpendicular to the line is the shortest distance to the line. If I tried just drawing any distance to the line, that diagonal, that one, or that one, all of those are too long. The red one from T straight to the line at a right angle, that's the shortest distance, and the shortest distance is the one you want. Number four, from point S to line PQ. Well, I can draw straight there inside the shape. Go straight to PQ, hitting it at a right angle. The distance is the line that's perpendicular to the line you're drawing to. And that's the shortest distance there is. Number five. From point S to line QR, well, you can't draw this one inside because it won't make a right angle. So extend line QR and then draw straight from point S to line QR and hit it at a right angle. Remember, it has to be a right angle. If you can't do it inside the shape, then extend the line until you can. Number six, from point S to line RT. Well, this one can't be done inside the shape because you can't hit it at a right angle. So we're going to have to extend line RT again. So when you extend it, now you can draw from point S to line RT. Draw straight to it hit it at a right angle. Remember these distances are the shortest distances from the point to the line and the shortest distance is the one you want and that shortest distance is the one that is perpendicular to the line and it hits it at a right angle.